there's a group of people that thinks that it's it's better to uh, provide people with a minimum of uh, sustenance, uh, food and shelter and energy, to make sure that they they remain uh, a viable part of the economy, that they do not uh, have to wander in the streets and uh, scavenge for food and go into crime to to provide for themselves. And uh, it makes a lot of sense to me. Of course, because uh, if you are malnourished, your IQ will go down. And if you're wandering in the street, then you won't uh, be invited for a job interview, uh, usually. And that's often viewed as a social socialistic uh, uh, mindset, where socialism basically becomes kind of a, a peg to, uh, or a point or something to just pile uh, bad sentiment onto socialism, but especially in the US. It's always associated with communism and it's associated with a, with a failed model. Well, of course, that's somewhat of a political maneuver of people that are on the other side of that uh, mind, that kind of that uh, mind uh, experiment, where it would say, well, you know, you don't want to have that because if I gonna offer my 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 houses to people for next to nothing, then how am I gonna make a profit from those houses? And if I'm gonna give food to those people for for free, give them food stamps. You know, how am, am I going to make profit from producing food and etc. and energy the same thing. And these are often viewed as capitalistic uh, uh, people, people which want... And, and then and they're kind of polarized in the other direction, which says you always have to be competitive, you have to try to be most efficient. And that is really the, the best thing for society to, uh, to experience, because that always leads to innovation and improvement in technology and etc. etc. But I don't think wealthy a wealthy society should be of such a black or white uh, mindset so of course a wealthy society should not uh, disown uh, people because they're rich and give all their uh, their riches to the poor although there was a uh, somebody mentioned to me that some of my uh, ideas are distributionist uh, so you kind of uh, spread the wealth um, that's not really it i think that what I know of people that I talk to is that they really do not uh, care too much about the money. That they are really, rather uh, kind of morally just or more, more be, that they rather live, live a morally justifiable life. And they rather express care for other uh, people. And that secondary to, uh, to that uh, need, that's more personal, is the need for income. So to give a few examples, one is from an energy company where I worked, so that's a big corporation that told me, you know, we're really not going after the money if it's a poor neighborhood in the city and the people can't afford the electricity. We just leave that be because, you know, uh, you can uh, you can hunt them down and you can uh, close them off from the grid, but we see it as a social responsibility as a company to provide them with electricity. Also, because we are have huge losses which we don't understand in the system. From uh, from street lights and all kind of unmeasured losses in the electricity system that we don't know where it's going. So you know, uh, we're not bothering to do uh, to do that. Another example is from a doctor that says, you know, I used to uh, visit people and, and and call them up and just because I understood the whole uh, kind of uh, progress of, of of different ailments, I would follow their their progress and uh, back to health and then uh, I just be uh, proactive. Uh, especially when it's foreign people, we call them allochtones in Holland, where people are from Suriname or from India or from Morocco. Uh, people that are not used to, uh, to, st to standing up for themselves against people with a high social regard. He would just call them up and he says, I'm not doing that anymore because I'm constantly reminded by the insurance company that that costs money and it's not efficient. And, that, uh, and it just bothers me so much that I'm, I'm, I'm just demotivated to do that. And I think there's a real loss because I believe that the primary question you have to ask is what am I willing to do and what social regard do I expect back for that and and uh, and what am I willing willing to do for other people in my society and not so much what how much money do I get for that the, because that basically becomes more of a concern once you are in debt and once some banker wants you to pay interest, then suddenly that money motivation becomes uh, uh, overpowering. Anyway, that's my idea. I have to stop this video, it gets too long.